You want to use the Alliance Keep to merit trade better and easier and basically doing it AFK? Well, let me tell you in this video exactly what you need to care about when you're using the Alliance Keep to merit trade and why that is actually, in my opinion, a better and easier way for you to get, for example, enough weekly merits to keep up and buying everything from the merit store. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from me, Beast of my name. And today in that video, I want to explain to you exactly what you see there in the background. Merit trading with the Alliance Keep. Well, some people have asked me about this and basically how you can use the Alliance Keep for you to not only in the war situation, but for example, also in the situation for merit trading. Since we all know that merit trading is really necessary to keep up, to get the elixir basically and perform better in the upcoming wars you're going to have, right? As you see, for example, this one cost me alone 7.2k merits, right? So we all need to merit trade in order to save this elixir. But there's also more stuff, right? Where we have also CP in the shop. We have also resources, keys, you know, all this stuff is really important. So merit trading can be actually kind of exhausting and frustrating if you like need to leave the lines um, and then out uh, attacking, not automatically, but actively. And there we're coming to the merit to keep trading, right? The merit tre uh, keep trading is basically a system where your alliance is putting down a keep where you can then then march into and other people can basically just go into the range what you see there and go attack that keep that right because the keep gonna automatically attack any other march from any other alliance who is coming into that range as you saw in the background i was fighting here with someone who is in hh where he have volunteered himself obviously he is not the same power as me um he's like a six main down and that's also why the trade was not like this but i can tell you if you have like kind of the same power the keep is a good way for you to get married and that's basically passively what i did here right i did nothing i just just i was just sending my march into that keep and basically just sitting there and that's basically the system that's it technically what you want to care now about to make it even is that you arrange the keeps what we did here for example in hh we have like split these keeps into different power levels and also into mages and archers. So as you see, we have here a six to 10 mil power uh, keeps where we have one for mages and one for archers. As you see here currently, people are trading and you see that the trading is kind of the same. The thing is that you would say now, yeah, but if isn't the mages in the keep getting the buffs also from the alliance territory? No, they are not getting that buffs. For that, you have these extra buffs for the keep, where you get 2.5% more damage deal when you are in the keep and also getting 2.5% less damage. So the buffs here from the territory is not applying. Technically, while I'm doing this video, for example, I could sit in the keep and merit trade. As you see, Miracle just need to then in and out the march for merit trade, right? The others, you just sit there in the keep and to merit trade. Um, they don't do anything, you know, they were just waiting until they their turn is. So if you like if you like having no time at all and you just want to melt trade, then you can sit in the keep. If you are like in the uh, a person who have some more time um but still is doing something else at the same time, you can do what milk is doing here right now, just sending in and out over time the the marches and attacking the keep and doing with that the merit trading a good thing for the for the aligned members because they can really j just like hit for example the weekly requirements if your alliance have a weekly requirement of merit trading or merit gaining they really can just send their marches in the alliance keep and don't feel that much pressure of oh i need to do actively now merit trading looking for someone asking in the chat, ask on Discord or something. No, they don't need to ask any more anyone. They can just send the keep in uh, the legion in the keep and then 
someone else who want to melt trade either go out of the alliance or if if you have a act uh, if you have a active se uh, second alliance they can you know just trade with uh, people from the second alliance for that you need of course to make sure also that the power level is here on the same so here we coming back to a point of splitting the alliance keep on different power levels so for example if your second alliance is way under your power what you see on 293 for example is that we are way stronger than sh so sh would barely be able to melt trade with us maybe only with a melt uh, with a keep of 10 to 6 mil power but not even that probably so yeah that was it with a alliance keep basically or on and how t you can use that for melt trading and I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope it have helped you to understand the situation of Alliance Keep. If any one of you watching the video right now who is currently in Season 1 and your Alliance is not doing this, what we are doing here right now, then make sure to show them that video, send them the link, show them that video, that this is really important and reducing the stress from the Alliance members a lot if they need to hit a weekly requirement for mail trading. As I got the positive feedback from it you know hh members were um telling this is really good it's less stressful to get the merit trading it's easier to hit it and based on that i you know i see that and of course i know also that from other seasons which i have played on my main account so yeah make sure that your alliance is doing that and with that said guys i hope you have enjoyed the video stay happy everyone we're gonna see us then soon on the next video with that, guys, I'm out. See ya.